Hello everyone. So welcome to this very special session where we are going to talk about various techniques which can help you in getting a job. Apart from the technical knowledge that you have, there are various other things which determine whether you land up in a particular job or not. This course is ideal for water resource engineers, environmental engineers, hydraulics people, or people who have civil engineering background. So let's start. This is the brief agenda about what we are going to discuss in today's session. So the first thing that we should know is we should know about all the companies that are recruiting for our post in the country or outside the country which is relevant for us because at times we don't even know which all companies are recruiting us. So for that you can create a list of certain companies, you can get their email IDs, you can get their HR details or there are various facilities of companies in which you can simply register at their website and upload all your details. So whenever there is a particular vacancy that matches their profile, they will give you an email. So first of all, you should know all those companies and then you can go to their website and simply apply. Okay, so you can create this list from your own or what we have done is we have created a list of 50 companies which are relevant and which are going to recruit people like us therefore you can simply go to their website register and just wait or you can send them an email and wait for their reply so the criteria of choosing those companies can be uh, those companies should have recruited at least once in the last year because if the company is dormant if they're not recruiting people there is no point in sending an email or anything to them then we should also know the frequency level how much how many times have they recruited in the last one year and then the relevancy level whether the company is recruiting people like us or not or they are recruiting people from other branches which are not relevant for us and then there can be a link to apply so uh, so uh, a small sheet has been created which you can get from the description link in which all the relevant details are there for about 50 companies if there are any other companies in future we will share that also moving on to the next thing uh, you should be in a position to run various softwares because all the designing works these days are based on softwares and we should know that so here are a list of various softwares which we use generally so in case you want to learn any of those softwares and you are not getting tutorials on youtube or if it is at a very high cost you can just put a request in the comments and we will find some relevant people with some experience who can teach you that okay the next thing is important concepts and skill sets there are so many topics uh, when you undergo your graduate training or your postgraduate training so what happens is all of that is not important when it comes to doing a particular job but there are few things which you need to be very good at or you need to be very experienced in that so you can get a list of all those topics uh, and start revising that then if we are talking about a particular software let's say we are talking about google earth so we don't know to know any software in all the details from start to end we no need to know certain things and how it is done if we know that we can say that we have the knowledge of that software so you can get a list of all those skills that you need in a particular software for example in google earth we need to know what are the various file formats example kml kmz then we should know how can we draw a line how can we draw a polygon how can we calculate the area perimeter how can we determine the elevation of different places the coordinate systems and how can we export the data which we have created on google earth so these all are the things uh, which you should know and which you can learn from your own also so therefore in this sheet uh, in chapter number three we have given a lot of things which you can actually learn this will not just help you in your interview but it will also help you when you actually get a job and start working because you will not have to spend time on learning these things the next thing is and the, probably the most important thing in this video this today's videos is the how to optimize your LinkedIn profile and why is it even important okay so let's start in earlier days how we used to get a job 
we used to get classified uh, or the advertisement in uh, newspapers or we get to know about jobs from our friends or word of mouth but now there is digital age and uh, today to get a job we can simply make an account on linkedin connect with relevant people and bang on but there is a catch in that because everybody is doing that so why are you so special and why should only you get that job okay so to stand out in that list you have to do certain modifications in your linkedin profile by which you can increase your chances more than 20 times of getting a job and what you have to do for that just wait a minute and you will be surprised okay so these are the various if send buts or the advantages and disadvantages of why you should be there on linkedin okay so let's start with an example so there are something called as keywords what are the keywords so if i ask you a simple question let's say a recruiter is uh, finding for a water resource engineer in delhi in india so he will simply go to the search box and ask and search water resource engineers then he will click on the people tab and bang on he will get a list of people now my question is what is your rank in this list how will linkedin determine at which rank you should be shown so if you are not in the first page of the search result or maybe the second page your chance is gone therefore it is your duty or it is your skill by which you have to bring your rank on top so that if somebody searches you or uh, somebody searches about the work that you have to do your name should be at the first page or maybe in the top 50 list and how is it is to be done we should know that so now here you can measure, see a pattern if the person has searched water resource engineer just see what all things are highlighted here water resource is highlighted here engineer is highlighted here engineer is highlighted means what all things is getting put in the search box the same word or the group of words sh- should be there in your profile okay so in general people use only a certain kind of keywords and the more you use a keywords its frequency increases so we have a very good list of high frequency keywords which uh, if you put in your profile your rank will be very high so that keywords which we have we have given in that sheets then the same sheet and you can get from the description but if you don't want to use that sheet you can make your own keywords based on the things which you see in various cvs or the various recruitment notices that you receive from various companies suppose somebody wants water gems so you can put the word water gems in your profile at two three times so that if somebody searches for water gems in let's say bangalore your names pop up so that these are the things which you can do but this is very crude idea in detail we will discuss now what we exactly need to do okay so to optimize the profile we have to get into four steps first we need to change your profile settings then we can insert some keywords then we should put some hashtags and then we can also work on the feed improvement so <clears throat> the first thing of the lot is profile picture so if you haven't put a profile picture on linkedin please put one and there are certain criterias by which you should put a profile pictures don't put a profile picture which is not good in quality or in which there is a lot of disturbance in the background suppose you are standing in front of a tree or you are going in a party or wearing some informal clothes don't use that profile picture i will tell you why it is to be done you see the account of any professional person the pictures will be very professional and very formal and have a eye contact look in front of the camera and put that picture only it has a good connect and then it gives a kind of trust to the recruiters of who you are okay and you can have a resolution of 400 into 400 pixels while uploading your picture okay and always make sure to put your linkedin profile in public mode because this will allow the search engines to get you to more people more recruiters okay now what you can do is before you upload your profile picture you change the name of that file of the keywords that i have given you 
okay let's say that the a person is tom and he wants to put his profile picture now before putting his profile picture before uploading it what he can do is he can rename the file to tom underscore let's say he wants to work for a water resource engineer or a hydraulics or water gems okay he can rename this what <coughs> it will do is whenever somebody is searching for a water resource engineer even this will contribute to the search result and it may give him a higher rating so before uploading your pro profile picture make sure you rename this and again the various keywords that you can use in a profile picture you can get it from that file now there are three criteria as i have already discussed you there should be a clean background okay and you should have an eye contact and the third is also eye contact but that needs to be changed it is formal clothes please wear formal clothes and don't put pictures which are <clears throat> having different background because it does not looks professional and many people tell you to avoid that okay so these are some, some sample profile pictures of how your profile picture can look now linkedin says that if you put a profile picture your probability of getting profile views by recruiters and other people increases up to 21 times so it is not who me who is saying that it is linkedin who is saying that because that is how their algorithm works the second is a cover picture so you might have seen the concept of cover picture in youtube and facebook so here it is also the same thing and why you should put a cover picture because cover picture tells you tells people about what work you do um, how much creative about your work you are and all those other things and you can also embed some keywords in your cover picture because whenever something is getting searched that will also contribute in a higher rank of yours okay so one more thing you can again rename your cover picture before uploading with the same keywords that are given in the uh, description and uh, again you don't need to use everything from the file you can create your own keywords but make sure that those are high frequency keywords otherwise it will not work the third is a headline now what is a headline <coughs> uh, here you can see that below the name of bill gates something is written coach here bill and melinda gates foundation so again going back to the same example when somebody searches for a water resource engineer and clicks on to people now you can see that below the name of uh, every people there is a headline called water resource engineer at stantec water resource engineer at acom and atkins so this is your headline so make sure you don't put something like a highly motivated person or a team or a work leader or something you can either put your degree you can either put the company in which you are working or the place where you belong to because these are the things that anybody will find you from and not uh, from other things okay so you generally get a character of 220 characters so you can use all that space but make sure you use only the keywords for example you can write suppose you have studied from oxford and you are a water resource engineer who wants to work in hydraulics having a slight experience of gis so you can put it like this water resources slash hydraulics slash gis slash oxford so this will rank you for uh, water resources it will also rank you for hydraulics gis and oxford so these are the things that you can do the next thing is your about section so about section gives you a lot of words so what you can do is uh, that keyword box that i have given you contains about 100 keywords so you can use so many keywords from there and you can frame sentences from that and put it in your profile so this gives a lot of boost in your uh, ranking and you can weekly get around 100 to 150 recruitment notifications in your account because you have put so many keywords in your about me section so you can see the about of some person uh, what how he has used his keywords in this and because of this he gets a rank of nearly 250 60 recruiters per week which is very high okay so in general a recruiter can only see about 250 to 300 characters of your about me so after that they have to click see more so the more times a person clicks see more linkedin understands that 
that person's profile is good that's why people are interested to know more about that so in that case your profile will be promoted more by linkedin okay so you can use various things uh, in the about section about your experience about the activities and education but make sure you use the keywords don't just copy paste all the keywords because that will make your account spammed you can make meaningful sentences uh, and use that keywords and put that in the about section to get an idea of how to do that you can see this example next is url so you know uh, suppose i want to search you on linkedin so one of the ways is i can put your name and i can get some something out of that other thing is i can simply put your url so what is a url let's say uh, my url is www.linkedin.com/in/hydraulicmodeler so if somebody puts this in their browser address it will directly point out to my profile okay so if you have a relevant keyword in the url that linkedin uses for you that will increase your chances for getting ranked let's say here for a hydraulic modeler so you can use uh, whatever job you want and you can put that in your url how can you do that uh, you have to go to your profile and in the upper right corner you will see edit public profile and url okay once you change that uh, it will take 2 3 days and then you will getting you will get higher rank for these things okay and again one thing that i have already discussed avoid buzzwords because uh, if you put i am very experienced i am a leader expert guru i am very innovative certified etc these things are it's okay that you have these things but recruiters don't give value to these words they want to see these characteristics in you and not see it in your profile so rather putting all these words you can put the skill sets the degree that you have so that will give you a higher rank okay so this thing uh, you can do then the seventh thing is follow some job updates and keywords okay so let's say in your profile you are not getting ample posts which are recruiting water resource people or sewerage people so what you can do in that case is you can simply go to the linkedin search box let's say you search water resources and put the location as india that you want the jobs of water resource in india so you can after selecting this you can select this job section okay once you have selected this job section it will show you all the jobs or the relevant jobs which are there in uh, your area so you can simply click on this set alert so whenever a new vacancy will be added you will all you will automatically get notified so this will help you a lot and give you an advantage over other people similarly if you want to get a notification for let's say hydraulic modeler so just put here hydraulic modeler put the location let's say you want in a bangalore a job in the bangalore so put here bangalore and then select this job and then click on this set alert so every time there is a vacancy you will get a instant notification okay now the next thing is you should not leave you should not leave any section of your profile unupdated because that decreases your rank so linkedin says that members with intermediate profile see more relevant job recommendations and refined connection suggestions so linkedin is saying that you should have your uh, profile very updated and at least take it to the intermediate stage and for doing that what you have to do is just go into your linkedin profile and see what all details are missing and just put the details in linkedin that will help you a lot and it is also showing that uh, men- members which show up to five skills in your profile updation section only you will see something called as add skills so if you put five skills your uh, chances of getting discovered increases by nearly 27 times which is huge and the last uh, or to be more precise the second last thing is connecting posting liking commenting relevant post what i am saying is you should connect to a lot of people on linkedin because first of all linkedin is not instagram or facebook where you be are connecting for other purposes here we are connecting to get our careers on track to get a job change to get a hike okay so you should not behave the way you are behaving there okay so don't be afraid or don't be have don't have a ego issue in sending connections to people 
who are from the same profile don't just spam people by sending request who are not even of water or civil background okay so send connections to relevant people because linkedin will show you show your name only when you are relevant if you are having thousands of computer science engineers in your profile so linkedin will understand that you are a computer science engineer so they will not show you any vacancy of water resource engineers okay so make connections of people whose profile matches to your profile you necessarily don't need to talk to them but just by their activity you can get a lot of things then you should also like the posts which contain vacancy notifications okay now i am not saying that you should like all our posts but if you do it is good yes one more thing don't fall into the trap of of uh, people who actually tell you to like their posts uh, i have seen some vacancies which say that comment interested if you are interested and we will have a link uh, look on your profile these things are spam don't fall into this traps okay like genuine posts which are of vacancy of water so the more things that you like that are of your type the more chances of getting your jobs increases and then you can also share the posts which are of your category so linkedin identifies it as your interested field and then they show you more of those things okay so these are the things and you also might have seen that uh, people are congratulating celebrating a lot that i have completed x numbers of year this, in this company i am excited to join x company so these things are important because these things linkedin promotes a lot so even in case you get a job or in case you are having some good thing about your career you just update it because it will help you a lot in boosting your profile and it will increase your further future prospects so you can see the same things that i have said on the linkedin's website that how their algorithm works and last but not the least uh, endorsements and recommendations you can endorse people of your same field so the more number of endorsement means you are good at that skill so linkedin will boost your profile and show you at the top of the results if you are highly endorsed and then also get recommendations from people for example recommendations are generally like this so you can get recommended from your teachers your colleagues and your seniors whom you have worked with ask them to include the keywords which you want to rank for and not just he was a very good person he was a very kind person not these kind of things ask them to include the keywords that you actually want to rank for and the fields in which you want to work from so that will be very good and uh, i will be recommending um, almost 10 people so the details you will get in that sheet so make sure you don't miss this opportunity okay and in case you want to me to review your profile after if you have made all the changes you can send a request through the sheet i have given and i will be happy to review your profiles obviously it will take some days but i will surely give you a report based on that okay and then last but not the least uh, you can always get the sheets which actually people use in the various companies and you can start practicing them you can start creating various designs based on random data or the data of some past dprs which you can download from internet and start practicing that i have already discussed in it in various videos so these all are the sheets which you can get from those videos or the link is again given in the description you can check this out and if you have any questions queries you can ask any time and we will be happy to help thanks for watching have a nice day